Hi, this is John Hope Bryant, founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of Operation Hope. This is the Hope Global Forum annual meeting 2020. America on reset, healing a nation, opportunity for all. We're sitting right now in a moment in history, but history does not feel historic when you're sitting in it. It just feels like another day. The players that are engaged with this new era of change are many ways different than they were in the middle of the 20th century, in the 1960s, where the focus was so much on social justice and through civil rights, through the right to vote, through fair play, through equitable employment. In many ways, this new movement, which has gone from the streets and must transition into the suites, is as much about social justice through equity, ownership, and opportunity as it is anything else. One could argue that the color is at least as important as black and white, as in race, is green, as in the color of U.S. currency, and opportunity, and sustainability and bridging the wealth and income inequality gap and a credit score. And my guest today uh, is a new partner in this movement. Uh, Craig Boundy is uh, the CEO, the Chief Executive Officer of Experian. Experian is one of the largest uh, providers of credit empowerment in the world. Uh, specifically, you know them as a credit bureau. Uh, but there must, there's so much more than that. Uh, today, I announced, uh, we announced a, a new partnership between Experian and Operation Hope that will position them as one of the leaders with us around 700 credit score communities, our aspirational goal to move uh, America into 700 credit score ranks, community by community, household by household. This is a major commitment. It's a seven-figure partnership. We will get to the details uh, through uh, appropriate releases, et cetera, post. But I want to have a human conversation uh, today with Craig about why this is important, what this means, unpacking it a bit. It will involve uh, access to credit bureaus for hundreds of thousands of people at least 100,000 bureaus completely free to you. Bureau reports it will involve uh, supporting our Hope Inside locations, providing credit counseling and case management at the ground level in 25 states where Operation Hope has 156 locations and growing. For me, very excited, it will involve data. The data, the powered data that uh, Experian has, which we'll get in this conversation, it is transformational, really, when you're talking about social justice. Um, one on antidote before Craig speaks. We are, as I did in my new book, honoring the legacy of George Floyd. He doesn't realize, maybe, maybe he's in heaven looking down at us, uh, how much his life has given life and voice to others. Uh, George Floyd and most of the others that experienced uh, unfortunate deaths at the hands of police, blacks uh, of late in these countries, when it was in neighborhood, these were 500 credit score neighborhoods. This is the research that I have found, that these were almost consistently low wealth communities in 500 credit score neighborhoods. And when you raise this credit, credit score and the vibration, the economic energy, the, the hope rises, the crime decreases, the opportunity goes up, Jobs and employment increases, home ownership and small business increase, increases. And uh, this is a, 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 an index that no one's focused on in this country. And I, and I have been able to go really in conversations from community by community, state by state. And I can describe to you a community I used to have to go visit personally before. I can now describe to you just by knowing the credit score, both good and bad. And it's nice to be able to talk have these conversations now, not talking about a black or a white community 
or uh, or defining it by some other term, but by really the data uh, itself. And this is as relevant for poor white neighborhoods in rural areas as it is black and brown neighborhoods in urban areas. And uh, and the aspirational goal is also the same. So to have this cutting edge, well-respected company uh, as our partner here is important uh, on many levels. Uh, Craig, honored to have you with us. Uh, and why is this important uh, to you and to the company? John, well, first of all, thank you very much for having me here. It's such a pleasure to engage in this conversation with you. You know, I'm really excited about what I think we can achieve together because the goals of our two organizations align so closely. For us at Experian, we want to help all consumers, you know, especially vulnerable consumers, improve their financial health. And that's where I think we can play an important role in working with the incredible mission that you've set out for us together. So let's unpack this because most people know you as a credit bureau, but really you're much more than that. And you know, at Operation Hope, our Hope Financial Coaches are moving credit scores 54 points uh, in six months of coaching uh, and as much as 120 points with two years of coaching. That's transformational. Uh, as I've often said, uh, there's never, never been a riot in a 700 credit score neighborhood in all of America's history. Uh, only 500 credit score neighborhoods tend to riot. And again, you see a 500 credit score neighborhood that's uh, white and, and rural and unfortunately poor, you're gonna see a check casher, a payday loan lender and a rent to own store and a title lender and a liquor store and other factors uh, preying on that ignorance and lack of information, just the same as in a urban black and brown neighborhood where you see a check casher and a payday loan lender and a rent to own store and a title lender and a liquor store preying on that financial illiteracy. And when you raise that credit score, uh, you're, it's, to me, credit scores are just sort of a, a, a trending indicator for economic energy. And you look at states and cities and counties uh, and zip codes where the credit score is very low and all the negatives come off the page. You look at it where the credit score is increased and, and, the, and the proliferation of two parent households grow, the small businesses grow, GDP grow, that's where tax base comes from, of all races. Um, and it's just refreshing to me to be able to have this conversation on something other than uh, racial issues or political issues or or, or anything else that divides us. And it's on something that people can actually have a hand in changing themselves. We, our coaches most notably find errors on credit reports. And when we challenge that and the credit bureaus can't confirm it, they must remove it. And that creates a pop in the credit score. But you guys have pioneered a proactive set of tools that expands your um, definition of your company uh, beyond credit bureau reporting to almost credit empowerment. Maybe I'm saying this incorrectly. Can you unpack this a bit? What you got, what are you guys doing? How are you helping the average person to take control of their lives? And what are the I, I think you gave a great, I, I think you gave a great description. I mean, let's, let's start at the beginning. You, you said we're more than just a credit reporting bureau and, and, and we are. Experience a global information services company, but, but what does that really mean? It, makes, it means that we empower consumers and clients, large businesses, small businesses all over the US to manage their data so that they and others can take smart financial decisions. But let's, let's narrow that in a bit. Let's talk a bit about what that means. For small businesses, it means that when they're starting up, they make clever decisions on who to extend credit to. Should I let you pay for that later? Are you a good risk? How should I market my products to you more effectively? How can I make sure that I'm not subject to fraud? And for anybody that's starting to build a business or running a very large business, these are incredibly important. And for individuals, you and me, it means that we're able to take control of our financial circumstances, and particularly for the most vulnerable consumers, that they're able to enter the credit ecosystem. They're able to take actions themselves that allow them to get access to credit, whether that's a credit card, a home loan, an auto loan, or even a mortgage. That progression that somebody can have through better education, that's where I think we can work so closely together. And some of the tools that we have 
can we improve the view that we have of an individual and therefore their access to credit? That definitely changes somebody's financial and social circumstances. Wasn't there something that you guys launched before us around Boost, uh, uh, Experian Boost or something like that, where you are showing people uh, how they can actually enhance their own uh, present credit score um, with some easy steps. Is that right? That, that's right. We and, and, and thank you for raising that. We have a, a product or really I think of it as a service that we offer because it's free um, called Experian Boost. And hopefully some of you have seen the TV commercials around that, um, often playing in live sports. But Experian Boost is designed to address exactly this issue. It's to let a consumer, you or me, take control of our financial circumstances. There are some pieces of information that we don't always have on the credit file that are great indications of your risk. And those are things like you pay your utility bills on time. Mm -hmm. You pay your Netflix bill on time. You pay your internet access or your cell phone bill on time. These are services that even the most vulnerable of consumers often have and pay on time. Cell phone being a perfect example. If you don't use Experian Boost, often those things are not included on your credit file. So here's how it works. You go onto our website, experian.com slash boost, very easy. You log in, you enter some credentials. We get access with your permission into your bank account. We find some information that will improve your credit score. It's added immediately onto your credit file and you watch your credit score go up. And we've seen people do this all over the US. And honestly, it works most effectively for the most vulnerable populations. It's completely free and takes less than two minutes to do. So in just so you, two minutes of your time, you can improve your credit score. So, okay, so I grew up in Coppin, California in South Central Los Angeles, and uh, my people around me weren't skeptical, they were cynical. And they believe none of what they hear and half of what they saw. You just made me nervous. You said it's free, uh, so I want you to, to say that again. So. I heard it clearly. It's free, F-R-E-E, -E, free. And number two, you made me a little nervous, not a lot nervous, when you said you're going into my bank account. So how do the people know this is safe and their data is safe? Unpack that a bit. Well, first of all, it is completely free, F-R-E-E, -E, zero dollars, zero cents. Like you okay. go on, it's the right thing to do, and it doesn't cost anything, and it's quick. Not only free, but it's quick. It takes less than two minutes to do. Okay. Easy, straightforward, and immediate. Now, yes, we have to look into your bank account or your credit card bill to see that you pay these utility bills on time. Okay. But that's done in a very secure way. It's done one time with your permission only, and there's no security risk of immediacy that that poses to you. So you don't need to worry about doing it. Millions of people in the US have done this already, me included. So this okay. is one I use my own products, me included. One time access. So we go in, we access, and then we have to keep checking back periodically to make sure you're paying the bills. But, it, but it's done in a very secure manner. And as I say, millions of people have benefited from this product and increased together their credit score by tens of millions of points. Like you think you go on and we're talking about raising somebody from 500 to 700. That's a big journey. But often people will go on and for the first time be scorable. So they'll have had no credit score and they'll get a credit score or they'll move band. They'll move from one band into the next, which has a really big impact on the interest payments they're paying on credit card debt or other things. So you can get better products immediately. So Craig, people don't know what a band means. Uh, first of all, when he said tens of millions of, of scores, he meant, he meant uh, uh, amongst all of the people who are using the program, you, you can't, you, you, that's not just you. You're not going to go from private credit score to, 10 million credit, it doesn't even exist. So it's 500, you, you, you can get up to about an 850, depending on what platform you're using. My mother's 847 or something, 857. She's not black, she's green. My mother has got a great credit score. So uh, one, it's free, two, it's secure. Uh, three, uh, it's something you can do. And if you're nervous, by the way, call Operation Hope, go to a Hope Financial Coach, download the Hope in Hand app, and, we, and our coach now partnering with experience will walk you uh through it what's a ban though you just mentioned a term i want to make sure we uh, we we demystify this so it's really important to demystify these things so credit scores are uh, given numbers 
uh, and so you talk about 700, those numbers then are grouped into bands. So a band is a, a group of numbers. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't particularly matter exactly what they are, but the higher the, the higher the credit score, the better the score, the lower, the higher risk you are, if you like. So the higher the number, the less risky you're seen as lending and the better product you're going to get access to and often the lower interest rate you're going to pay. So it's in all of our interests to make sure that the credit bureaus experience has the best view of you. We understand what you are able to achieve, what you're able to afford and how good you are at paying your bills on time. And, and this is not, this is again, demystifying. This is not a ratio. This is ratio, not ratio. It's ratio, as in ratio of debt to in, debt to uh, you know income and and uh, and debt and ratio of uh, how much you have on that credit card uh, as a limit to, to how much you spent. It's the ratio. It's, it's ratios, not racial. So no one is making a decision based on your racial makeup. Uh, this is this is empowerment for you now. Uh, and, and hope is going to pick up where Experian left off, and we're going to dig deeper. If you had a if you if you had a charge off, we're going to get in, help you negotiate with the creditor, get that off your record, pay, make, fair exchange, no no robbery, cut a deal with them, get that off your report. So so Experian has a different experience of you. If, if there's an error, get those off your report. So the Experian and others have a different experience of you. If half of employer employers. Uh, last time I checked, check your credit. I don't know if you knew that. Um, credit is everywhere. You know, if you if you have an 18% interest rate on a Mercedes Benz, it's not a Mercedes, it's Mercedes payments. Uh, uh, you should be paying 5%, 4%, 3%. Uh, in some cases, 0%. Some manufacturers are doing 0% if you have good credit. If you have a mortgage uh, and you can cut that interest rate from 6 or 7%, down to three or four percent, you are liberating yourself with more cash flow. Uh, literally, depending on the size of the mortgage, you're paying, you're saving ten thousand, twenty thousand. If it's a hundred thousand or twenty thousand dollar mortgage, I mean, you're you're saving real money over the life of this loan. And the bigger it is, the more money you're saving. This is a real conversation. And and if you're living in a credit uh, uh, in a in a household that has a five hundred credit score. You're probably arguing over money. If it, you probably have a surviving mentality, it affects everything. If you are in a, on a block that has a 700 credit score, you're probably in a highly aspirational, positive environment. Everything changes. Uh, and we want to get you from, from this 500 credit score neighborhoods to these 700 credit score neighborhoods. And I'm excited about really taking the data, breaking it down, and going community by community and having conversations and unpacking and helping public public office holders and the media and community leaders to understand the underlying problem that's causing the challenges uh, that are not allowing them to achieve jobs, ownership and opportunity at scale. This issue of credit and power, credit score empowerment is like a civil rights issue today. I mean, that and financial literacy together is so incredibly powerful. Um, what part of our partnership are you most inspired about? What's the thing that intrigues you the most about what potential we can have together for communities and for people? You know, John, I think that's such a great question. The, the, the answer is really simple. The, the connection that you can help us make. Like, you know, we, we've done a nice job today demystifying it, but let, let me try with a real life example, because I think that makes it makes it real. And I'll explain how that ties to our partnership. You know, we talked to a lot of our customers and, and, and some of them gave us permission to talk about them. So I wanted to talk about Lawrence and Lawrence March of last year had a credit score of 640. So he's not as low as your 500, but he's not in your aspirational neighborhood. So it's a credit score of 640 March of last year. He signed up and went through the Experian Boost. His score immediately that day jumped by 30 points. So he went from 640 to 670. But being smart and having a good connection with what he was doing, he continued contributing that positive payment history. He now has a credit score of 770. But what does that actually 
actually mean? What does that actually mean? In March of last year, he had one car and one car loan and an interest rate of 18, 1.8% on that car. He now has two cars and the interest rates are 5% and 8.2% on those two car loans. That for me shows why this is important. That is absolutely a social issue. He now can drive to work and somebody else in his family can use the other car and they pay less for both just because he was better educated, better able to use and take advantage of the tools we've got. And where I think you come in is helping people learn about this, understand it, get comfortable with it. And as you said, go deeper. That then pivots to the last thing I wanted to say, which is uh, how I believe that this aspirational seven hope 700 credit score communities uh effort that we are on can be a uh, can play a role in this historic moment we're in and the 400 euro social justice reckoning of black america that we face uh the economic crisis that we find ourselves in the effects of a global health pandemic that is uh, stifled tens of millions of lives and affected uh, uh, in a disproportionate way uh, those who are black and brown uh, and excluded. Um, half of all blacks in America, I didn't say poor blacks, I didn't say education levels, half of all blacks in America, I have found through my data, are 41%, but I'm gonna call them half, have a credit score below 620, Craig. Now, I want that to sink in to people watching this and listening to this. We've gone over time, but this is really important for me. Effectively, 41%, effectively half of all African-Americans have a credit score below 620. That means you're locked, that half of Black America, on top of racial discrimination, on top of uh, uh, job exclusion, on top of, uh, of, of uh, not having specialized education and computing and robotics, engineering, math, and things that are, that are where jobs are being created. On top of that, you're locked out of the free enterprise system. You can't get a loan for that business vision you have because unsecured credit requires a 700 credit score with a lender often because it's considered risky, unsecured credit. You can't buy that home in the neighborhood that you love for the reason you just mentioned, because if your credit score is toe up to the floor up, you're going you're gonna to get a mortgage that's going to hike the payment so high you can't afford it. You, you can't get the, the car you want or two cars your family needs. It goes on the credit cards. The, you, can't even, you can't even go get a, 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 a mobile phone today without somebody checking your credit. You can't get an insurance policy. You can't, every step of your life today is affected by this. And the, those who have the least pay the most particularly when you're not paying attention to the issues that we're talking about here. Again, half, effectively half of all of Black America is locked out of the progressive free enterprise system. And that has to be a social, that has to have a negative knock-on effect on our inability to rise up and become owners and stakeholders in America. And that I want to do something about through the power of our coaching, our counseling, our education, our data, our analytics, uh, and our partnership. I want to thank you for coming personally to being with me today to announce this uh, very important partnership. Any closing words from you, Craig? Uh, just, this is such an important journey we're going to go on together. It's a real privilege to be part of it with you. Uh, and I know we can make a real impact on this together. So thank you. Thank you. Please tell your team I said thank you. Uh, and tell your mother I said she did a good job. I know she's watching. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless.